Welcome to Artful Stampin' with Ruth. This is my YouTube channel and we love stamping on this channel. So if you've come to watch some creative stamping and to push your stamps to places that they've never been before then welcome you've come to the right place. So hello hello today is Monday the 19th of July 2021. Uh, some people in England are calling it Freedom Day because uh, the rules about certain restrictions to do with mask wearing has changed today. Uh, not so in Wales. So if anyone is wanting to come and visit Wales from England, please remember that there are different rules. <laughs> but there we go. So, hello. Right. Haven't got a massive plan for tonight. I, I There was something that I saw on Pinterest the other day. I was looking up 60s patterns. Thought it'd be fun to have a go with some sort of geometrics. And I wanted to try something out that I saw, oh, an idea. Ah, the great British summer has begun where, you know, all the bugs start coming into your room as soon as you have the light on and um, yes, anyway, oh yeah, see I've shut my door but I haven't shut my big window, oh never mind, okay, I'm just popping these mats underneath my work because I am using photopolymer stamps here and I want to do second generation stamping in quite a strategic place so I'm stamping there I'm huffing and now I'm going to stamp here I like the idea of colour kind of fading out on this geometric on this square I'm going to try it again, see what happens, maybe not wait so long between each one. Oops, too far. Try that there. Okay. Hmm. Trying to try it in a different colour. This is pumpkin pie. Quite a strong orange here. I don't know why I chose this colour, but anyway. It's happened now. It's all happening. Okay, so can you see we're getting this kind of grade, gradation, I don't know if that's the right word. Just going to lift my camera a little bit, oh, let's just do a little bit of a zoom in. Oh, just a little bit, there we go. Hello everybody. Right, hello and welcome those of you who are watching live. Thank you for coming and watching the replay if you didn't catch me live. Hi Christine, Cindy, Bonnie, Jackie, Elizabeth, Sheila, Janice, Lorraine, Cheryl, Morgan, Glenna, Wendy Leclerc, Michelle Devore. Devo Do you say Devore or Devore? Hi Kathy. Hi Deborah. Hi Louise. Right. Oh my goodness. It's been a hot day here in Mid Wales. Oh my goodness. And I'm so glad I am on my own in this room and nobody can smell me. It's been that kind of a day and my craft room has got very hot. Um, it's, it, it's good at keeping me warm in winter and it certainly keeps me warm in summer. So I've had to, I was filming some things for a blog hop. And I just I had to do a bit and then like go out the room again and then come back in again because it could not cope. Okay, so that's me just experimenting a little bit with um, just how that works with the colour there. I fancy doing another little bit of an experiment, this time with the long stamp here. Oh, Lorraine, I read what happened to you. Oops. Lorraine's had some issues with her dryer. Ooh, I quite like that. <gasps> this has sparked off another idea.
Ooh. Hmm. I'm wondering if we could do for those quilters out there, if we could do almost like a log cabiny type thing, but we can't adjust the size of this rectangle, so that will be interesting. Hmm, okay, right. Well, I'm gonna stamp off and just The ideas are ticking. They are. Are you thinking of something as well, Monica? Just shout if you've sort of, this has triggered something and you're thinking, ooh. Right, I'm going to try and just zoom in a little bit. Sorry about the crazy visual effects. Oh, that's a bit too close, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, I'm so sorry. It 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 just moves so fast. Hi, Cindy, Shirley, Joanna, Barbara Cameron from Texas. Hello, welcome. Okay, so that's oranges gone down. As I said, I don't really know. Don't really know why I chose orange. I think it's because I wanted to use some aqua and I thought, oh, aqua and orange could look really nice. And I wanted to use some sailing home. And oh, I don't know whether to use some of this as well. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling it just yet, guys. I'm not feeling it. But we're just going to keep going with the old experimentation. Um... Let's try a bit of crushed curry this time. See, I've got, I don't know whether just to start on another piece of paper. Or do that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Come on, Ruth, you can do this. Okay, so what would happen if I did this? Ooh. Go try that again. One, I'm trying to move it the width of the block. Like as in the width of, sorry, the width of the, it, the rectangle. I wonder if something's come loose in your washer, Lorraine. Lorraine's having washer problems, or dryer problems, actually. Hi, Glenis King. Welcome, welcome. I think we've got quite a few new people watching. Welcome, if it's your first or maybe second or third time to my channel. Um, oh no hold on didn't mean to do it that but anyway we'll keep going uh yes do do say hi roughly where you're from and uh if you're a crafter stamper demonstrator whatever we'd love to get to know you a bit better okay this is a bit more gentle quite quite liking this
Mm. Right, now this is going to be a bit problematic because I'm going to do second generation, but I'm moving up, so I'm going to have to just re-ink each time. Oh, that wasn't very good, but never mind. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. It's just about creating a pattern. It's not going to be anything super special. Oh dear, that's gone into there, but never mind. All right, let's just get this pattern down. Just wanted to experiment a little bit with... Okay. Okay, okay. Right. Hmm. I wonder whether to bring in some of this. Or, ooh, actually, I wouldn't mind combining that with that. Right. Okay. Come on, Ruth. You've got this. <gasps> New stamp set. So, I have used this stamp set before but a friend of mine lent it to me so I now have it so this is why it's a brand new stamp set to me great to see you again Robin welcome back so we have a combination of people who've been watching me for a while people who have known me for many years. <laughs> we have people who've only known me for a month or a week, but you are all welcome. We all speak the language of creativity and uh... okay, I love this stamp. It's so detailed. This lovely lighthouse. So we're going to make use of this darker yellow and it's almost like it's sitting on a sandier portion of the beach. I like mixing kind of naturalistic with other shapes and forms. Don't be afraid of stamping off the page as well. So this is sometimes called whole sheet stamping or one sheet wonder stamping or collage stamping, pattern making, call it what you will. But it's about just having fun, placing images on a sheet that can be cut up and used for card making. So that's that's kind of the aim really. Or, or sorry, not just card making, uh, other forms of paper craft. Right, and yes, you can hear my fan on in the background. <laughs> I hope it's not too loud. Hi, Amanda. Good to see you. Give her a different yellow. Give her so saffron. have a light coming from there now with a big stamp like this take time to make sure it's well inked as you can see I'm not just kind of just going oh well, I've done that one in that direction therefore I'll do that one in that direction because I felt that stamping the light going through there that was too dark so it worked better on that side so don't feel you have to slavishly follow a pattern if it's not going to work 
because I've not gone for a specific pattern here. I'm just having fun with the shapes and how they're working together. And so. And when this is cut up into pieces, it's not actually going to matter hugely. Ah, that's interesting, Karen. Oh, you're quite near to somebody else who watches. I don't know if she's on at the moment. But... Of course, remember to stamp on from the other, you know, inwards. And I think, as we're looking a little bit bare up in this corner here, I might just... Oh, no, actually, I'll do it the other way. Have this one coming into here a little bit, like that. I could have that one there as well because you know there's a light there's a lighthouse off here that you can't see needs a bit of light coming from it there we go right okay i'm a bit happier with this now what else have we got in that lovely stamp set got some nice birds got this lovely compass So when the rubber stamps arrive, they have a kind of paper kind of protective coating on the back. If it's easier just to rip off all of that, then do that. And then it also has stickers ready to stick on as well. So do follow the instructions that are on the inside of the stamp set because there is a right and a wrong way of getting the stickers on and unfortunately if you do it the wrong way it's a bit tricky to come back from it. So I mean there are comebacks but just be aware. Okay so look there's instructions here. Now do I go for the compass or do I want to go for the boats? I'm thinking the compass. Now just realised that's east, that's west. I think that's north. Let's get this correct on here. There we go, let's try that. Linda's a, a professional sticker for Taranara. <laughs> just check that oh no upside down there we go west east da, 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 da. right right now i've just realized i've got a bit of a booby there so i'm gonna have to cover that up i quite like the idea of a couple of these Oh, I can see Miss Janice has put a new video up. If you guys don't follow Janice from Jazzle Dazzle Crafts, I do recommend her channel. I think she's watching now. Janice, do you want to put some emojis up? Also, have I got any of my team in the house tonight? There's Levine and Wendy Wu is in the house. Wu's Creations. Um, there's Wendy's Craft Den. I have two Wendy's in my team. So there we go, there's Janice saying hi, there's Wendy Wu, there's Wu's Creations, then there's Levine Noonan, and there's Claire at Cheeky Monkey Crafts, and Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. So if you, if anyone wants other channels to follow and enjoy, then please. My daughter lives in Manhattan, I grew up in the Bronx, but I've been living in Massachusetts now for the past 30 years. There we go. All the New Yorkers are coming out of the wood. Okay, I like that. So, I'm wondering whether to put some little birds. I do like the birds in this set. Because they look like... <laughs> you know how some birds look very uniform, like they're flying off in a certain direction? Well, these birds um, 
they look like they've caught the wind has caught them and they're kind of like being flown around yes louise is in my adopted i've adopted louise in my team even though she's not in my team if that makes sense we look after louise Yes, Martina has had a busy weekend with her family, apparently. I spoke to her at the end of last week and she was had visitors and then she was preparing for another lot of visitors. So she is pretty busy. But she's okay. See, birds are like the dottage of, you know, the seaside. <laughs> they just create that lovely bit of extra movement and texture. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. There we go. quite like that I feel like we need maybe some other texture in there but I'm not quite sure what yet I loved it I've been to New York and um, enjoyed it immensely I was able to my aunt lives in Manhattan so it was great to have a central kind of place to See New York. Right. Hmm. I'm wondering if just a little bit of like a pale texture in the background. I've got so saffron here. Whether whether just something slightly textural, like oh, the one from. Natural textures. Oh, I've just remembered the stamp set that I wanted to play with. Oh, right, I will do that one again if I find it. Where's it gone? Here it is. Textures and frames. I'm going to use that one again in a second. Right. This one here. I've used this in a sort of seascape look stamp stamp sheet because I felt that if you look at it in a, a certain way it almost looks like the ripples that you get in sand you know after the tide's gone out yes that's right um, Amanda they do make a scene come alive I agree Can you guys see see this these lines? It's very interesting what it's doing. The lines are see where they look. fun yeah we, we just tend to keep going Joyce until yeah until you look at it and go I cannot fit another thing on yeah the, the, the comments I've had from people who've taken my classes so I sometimes do zoom classes teaching this technique um, is that actually they've realized that they haven't kept going far enough that they they stop too soon 
So interestingly, although a lot of people worry that they're not going to stop in time, that they're going to do too much, actually, I think people sometimes feel, yeah, they've realised they don't, they, they don't keep doing enough. Is that right, ladies who've taken my class? Do, would you say that's true? Hi, Dana. I quite like this too now. I, I, I did wonder where it was going to, all going to head. Right, now I'm wondering, to make the lighthouse just stand out a little bit, whether to go in there with, what have I got here? Light smoky slate. Let's see what happens if I do this. Just to give it a bit more definition. I'm not being too strict on that, but look, that just helps it to to show up a bit. So Mindy would agree with that. There we go. Especially with leaves, yes. So I am quite known for doing floral stamping. That is my bag. That's something I really do enjoy doing. But I also like pushing my my boundaries or my, my creative boundaries. Sorry, not my boundaries. Uh, my creative boundaries. <laughs> Dear me, I could get into real trouble with what I say here. Uh, my creative boundaries to, to use images that perhaps I don't necessarily perhaps like initially or I, you know, but uh, I've, I've discovered that if you just have a go, you can be surprised what, what happens. Ah, there we go. So Monica says that she sometimes adds more afterwards. Yep. Yep, that can happen. Actually, that can happen to me after I've done a live. I'll, I'll do something and then after the, I've switched everything off and people are not <laughs> watching me anymore, I'm like, oh, I should have put that on there and oh, I should have done that. <laughs> Smoky slate. Oh, they're both running out. Oh, guess what colour I'm going to have to buy. Oh, that's a bit too dark, isn't it? Oops. Shouldn't have done that. Let's blend it in a bit. Yeah, I don't want to go down that route. Now, okay, so if you like colouring in, then yeah, go down that route. I mean, it does look quite spectacular, doesn't it, with the extra dark in there, but I'm, I I don't want to use up loads of time doing that right now. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there because the idea that I had or the, some, the image that I saw in the week that I thought I really wanted to try and play with, I've just realised it wasn't with the square the watercolour shapes it's with this one here or this one or this one something that actually has a, a rectangle so this stamp here oh look brand new stamp gotta sniff the stamp brand new stamp um this is a stamp set that is going to be available from the 3rd of august and it's we've got something called celebration so um you can earn this stamp set for free, which is always, always a bonus. I'm at work and just caught you live, so I missed the first part. Ah, right, yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I mean, if you, if you prefer to stop earlier than I do, that's absolutely fine. I'm just, I'm a details girl. I've, I've come to realise this over the years. I love detail and I, I 
enjoy detail in embroidery, flowers, nature. I love intricate stuff. That that's what I've I've realised that about myself. So I I like the idea that you know with a big sheet like that because this is going to get cut down and we're only going to be using fractions small pieces of this um you know we might even use eight you could get eight just different pieces out of here that i want you know whatever piece that is being used i want to have enough detail on there for it to be interesting so that's why i tend to keep going right let's start again so uh let's get some oh what's that specific Point. and yes a few people said that they've said that to me dame uh sorry cindy saw you yeah so i'm just gonna i'm gonna take my watch off actually because i don't i don't actually need it on right now and you know when it, the weather is sort of sticky it's like anything else that's attached to your body is just like ugh don't need it right now okay now this is not perhaps as uh what's the word as perfect a rectangle that i would like it but i'm going to try this technique out I think because we're sort of like stamping and repeating. Oh, I love that. Look at that. This is so cool. Very retro kind of looking. So let's just twist it round and see what happens when I do it this way. Oh no, hold on. You know what is easier to have the right angle down in that left corner because we're stamping towards the right. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I wasn't perhaps as perhaps as perfect as I could have been. So let's try that again. Oh, just do it up here. Like, so I'm trying to keep them quite close together so you get this cool ombre kind of effect. You like Cindy? Who's gone ooh? Who was that? Lorraine oh Lorraine went ooh. <laughs> I know, isn't that fun? So this is something that I would always recommend you do when you get a new stamp set. It's actually just to play with the individual elements and do repetition stamping and see what happens. Okay, it's not a waste of time just to play on a scrap piece of paper that you may end up throwing away or you may do 10 different things on that piece of paper and two of them will work and the eight might not. It doesn't matter. That's how we discover. That's how we really get honing in on our things that we like and our creativity. It's just to play and see what happens. Okay, don't do it just because you saw me do it. Do it because you want to explore and experiment. Okay, I think I've run out of space. <laughs> right, now I wanted to see if I can do it with the circular image there too. So let me just clean my stamp off. Pop that back there. Now this will be interesting. Although now I'm thinking, what colour am I going to do my lighthouse in? Maybe I won't do any lighthouses. This is going to be just my retro page. I'm going to go down this. Oh no, you see, now I've started going off to the top right. I'm like, I can't go in any other direction. It's just me. Once I've got my rule, I keep with it. No, this is Pacific Point. It might be, uh, Roberta, sometimes it's to do with your the colour of your screen. It's to do with the internet bandwidth. So certain colours will look different at certain points. Yeah. So I will try and take a photograph of this and put it on Artful Stamping Space so that you can see the true colour. 
see my true colors. Yeah, it's been around quite a while, hasn't it? Pacific Point. Oh, and I'm going to have that problem again where I'm going to have to stamp off, go up, stamp off twice, go up. One, two, three, and go up there. Right. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'd really like to use the anchor. But I'm thinking I need to do it in a colour that's going to show up and be a bit different to the blue. I'm wondering what about basic grey? What do you guys think? Or a green? Oh, I could do it. I could use evening evergreen. It's doing my eyes in. <laughs> Look away for a moment, Lorraine. Look, I'm not Lorraine. Louise. <laughs> Knight of Navy. Yeah, I've got Knight of Navy next to me. I just I've used quite a bright blue, haven't I? Hmm. Yes, I did wonder about red, but I'm not sure I'd see an anchor in red normally. I might bring in, I could bring in some knots or something in the red. Unless I go for Pacific Point in this and then add other colour with something else. Okay, I know what, I'll try and fit these anchors in, in between the spaces that I have. And then I will add other elements in other colours. Red is so, red and blue, so nautical, isn't it? And I'm just filling in gaps here. I'm not, there's no pattern, as you can see. There's no, like, repetition or anything like that. It's just... It all, whatever fits wherever. Okay. Bespo, yes, it's very Bespo. <laughs> Oh, a cherry cobbler. Oh, yeah. So I've got real red out, but yeah. A cherry cobbler will be nice and rich looking, won't it? So I'm just trying to think how to place this. Okay. Ooh, what if I put the rope inside these? It almost gives them a little bit of a frame or a window. Is that better on your eyes, Louise? Oh. 
Lorraine, every time you type Coquitlam, I, I hear it, how you say it. <laughs> Louise is feeling a bit seasick. Okay. Well, I must be doing such a great job, Louise. Now, I did not plan that these would fit in here, but they do. Look at that. See, sometimes coincidence like these happen and you go with it. <clears throat> they look like they're in little boxes floating through water. <clears throat> <laughs> I, pr I pronounce it so well. I've heard you say it enough times, Lorraine. Could quit them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Joyce. Is that Joyce who said that? Joyce Gillespie. So, where's Joyce? Joyce from? Joy, see you quite quite new to my channel. I'm gonna have to have a drink, guys. It is hot here. Okay, right. I think some texture is needed. I'm wondering whether to bring in now some... Oh, we talked about grey, didn't we? Right, now instead of going for basic grey, I'm wondering about going for smoky slate. Hi, Ivy! Okay, again, I'm just kind of go, going where I know it will fit. I quite like keeping the integrity of these rectangles and shapes so that they haven't got much going on inside them. Because I obviously haven't planned this <laughs> to be like, it's just working out. Right, that's softening it all a little bit now. Joyce's own Ab... Ab Canoe? Mexico. Yeah, it looks a little bit like netting. Yeah, it's sort of like a basket weave. This reminds me of like maybe fisherman's pots or something. <laughs> um, like the basket, baskets or lobster pots. That's what I want, not fisherman's pots. Lobster pots. Right, I think that's enough. Oh no, there's a space there. Let's see if we can get one in there. Oh, 
Ooh, I have these big splodgy things. Oh, let's get those on. I think they're meant to be like ink blots, aren't they? Ink sp splots. Splats? Splots. I don't know. Call them what you want. When I was at school, that would have been called a mistake. <laughs> a, sp a splat like that on your page at school <gasps> terrible and now I'm putting them on a piece of artwork see it's all in the eye of the beholder a splotter yes it's more like a splotter oh op uh, octopus ink could be yeah quite like this now <laughs> I wasn't too sure about where it was going but I actually quite like it now hmm okay still think it needs another little bit of detail but... maybe some birds I'd go for a few birds Oh, no, wrong colour. Yeah, the only thing about red speckles, uh, Caroline, I'm, I'm always very careful about red because it can just look like blood splatter, uh, to be quite honest with you. And I, So I'm very careful how I use red splatters because it can give the wrong sort of impression. <laughs> Now at Easter time, I deliberately use red on splatters to, to actually represent blood. So I'm always a bit careful at other times of the year or other, what's the word, genres of imagery. Yes, murder on the high seas. Yes, it could be like a pirate one, couldn't it? <laughs> Hi Dawn. Hi Kathy Bothwell. Welcome. So we've got a kind of nautical stroke 70s theme going on here guys today. Those of you who are just joining. Um, we're creating these sort of geometric ombre effects and then also using sailing home to, to add to that as well and okay sorry I'm just taking it all in I'm just having a think if it needs anything else no I think I think we're done for this one From the grunge stamp so ah, uh, I don't have that one on at hand and yes I'm afraid that one was around a few years ago I, I have it packed away there is some speckles in my meadow oh uh, no quiet meadow yeah I could do a, a bit of dotage So I'm just going to shut my window while I'm up because the bugs are coming in. Oops, oh, sorry.
so I'm looking for white spaces now. Yes, that's very true, Lorraine. That would be helpful. Some screens, yeah. Well, it's the first summer in my studio, so there are obviously going to be little tweaks I'm going to have to make to make it easier to be in. There we go, I think. That's a bit better, isn't it? Now, if you imagine that in red, <laughs> it would have looked like Pirate Massacre. Oh, thanks, Joyce. Yeah, do... Do come back. Uh, are you subscribed? Oh, that's a good idea, Nessa. To be honest, I could probably just Velcro some net across my window frame. It's I've got UPVC windows set into a wood kind of surround. Right, so there we go. I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, you can let me know which one you preferred and I will go through all the colours that I used now and all the stamp sets that I used too. So for this one we used bum oh no we didn't crushed curry. We used crushed curry. Oh it's another bug. Oh, and there's another bug. Go away. Crushed curry and so saffron. These, these two here for this for this one. And knight of navy. So those those three. And we use the stamp sets. Watercolor shapes. After the storm. Sailing Home and Natural Textures. So I'll pop the list of what I've used in the description after this video is ended. I will do that. Then this one has Pacific Point, Smoky Slate and Cherry Cobbler. And we used Textures and Frames, which is a new stamp set that's going to be available. This, this one here and this one here. This is going to be available from the 3rd of August, 2021. Uh, oh, we didn't use any watercolour shapes for that one. Did we use After the Storm? Oh, didn't use any After the Storm. But we used Sailing Home for that one. And the that one for Natural Textures. And, of course, a bit of splatter from Quiet Meadow, which is super, super useful and goes with pretty much anything. So there we have it. That is your masculine nautical sort of slightly retro looking background paper. And you can use that for all kinds of projects there. Thank you, Monica. Oh, you missed the first one. That's all right, Dawn. You can go back and watch the replay. So, there we have it. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, as well, who joined in on the Zoom at the weekend. It was so lovely to see you. Thank you for those of you who've PayPal'd me as well, gifts um, uh, to do with that. And thank you, everyone, who just supports my channel. It's 76 of you watching. Woohoo! Uh, yes, thank you for your continued support and uh, cheering on and sharing of videos. And, yeah, keep inviting your friends to come and join Artful Stamping Space. I noticed today we are 20 away from a 1,000 people who... Uh, are on Artful Stamping Space on Facebook. I cannot believe it. I can't, honestly, I'm like, 
<gasps> How did it get to that point? So, um, I know we missed you, Nessa. How do I plan on cutting it up? Well, let's do a little bit of um, auditioning, as I call it. Let's get some... I, I don't know, to be honest. So this is why I use sometimes use these templates to have a look how it will look. So we could do some slimline cards, although I'm no, I'm not actually that pleased with that one on that one. I think that one needs something different. That one, hmm. Yeah, not sure about that at all. Okay, let's try something different. Let's see how that looks. Ah, I like that. That I think you get better look. But like with animals, I don't always like having them beheaded. So, um, hold on, let's see a different way of doing it. Yeah, that's a bit better. You get sort of whole ones in there. I'm wondering actually with that whether a um, three slim lines would be better. If you can all that line there, just three slim lines because you get then get a whole one in every single picture. So that one's got a whole one there. That one's got a whole one there. And that one's got a whole one there. Actually, that one's got two. Yeah, maybe three slim line cards with this pattern well Cindy Nielsen I'm surprised you don't have any the rate you go on about octopi yeah this one I'm not so worried about cutting up sections because I like I think it's because it's like to me they don't have like a head and a body whereas a lighthouse clearly has like a top bit and a bottom bit to me that's a head and a body i, I think i think you'd understand my my reasoning on that one yeah these might make nice three three cards there let's see what this would look like That way, yeah, that would work as well. Sort of just having those, and then you could put a sentiment somewhere on these. Yep, there we go. You're welcome, Barbara. Right, so if you're not over on Artful Stamping Space, it's a Facebook group where people share pictures of their creative projects. That have been inspired by my channel so if you have a go doing this and like to share it with other people then please head over to artful stamping space on facebook uh, answer the questions and i'll let you in it's the secu their security questions just to make sure you are who you say you are type thing and also that you've read read over my simple rules of, of how i keep the, the group running smoothly so uh, please remember no link sharing unless you contact me. You can contact me to link share, uh, but so that I can share the links. Um, that's about it, really. So lovely to see you, Cindy. Hi, Jana. Oh, got someone applying right now. Gosh, that's quick. You're quick off the mark, guys. Well done. I can see that on my. I've got a notification. Someone's trying to join. Right. Lots of love to you all. Have a great day morning evening wherever you are or afternoon and i will catch you guys again soon take care for now don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up thank you so much for your time bye